Hey, it's me, Mr. Jason. Now, before we get into our video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well as that notification bell so that you know whenever we upload. Also, don't forget to comment down below a book that you would like for us to read together. I love requests. And when I get requests, that lets me know that you're out there listening and watching. And we love that here at Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And don't forget, keep reading. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. To wherever you are in the world, my name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Welcome back to another episode of Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. Today, we have a great story for you. If you were with us last week, we read a story entitled Solids, Liquids, and Gases, written by Ginger Garrett, and it talked about all the many forms of matter. Well, today, we're going to continue our science topics with What is Matter, written by Don L. Curry. This book goes a little bit in depth on what matter is and what it can be. As we read our story, keep those eyes open for the sight words that you see here on our list. Also, for the parents and the teachers that are watching, here are a few key developmental indicators this particular story teaches. Now, before we get into our story, here are a few words you need to know. Gas, liquid, matter, shape, and solid. Without any further ado, let's get into our story, What is Matter?, written by Don L. Curry in Read Alouds with Mr. Jason. What is Matter?, written by Don L. Curry. What is matter? Matter is solid, liquid, or gas. Matter is everywhere you go. It can look like this. Matter can look like this, or this, or this. Matter can look like this too. Matter can also look like this. A bat and baseball are made of matter. The air inside a balloon is made of matter. The water from a drinking fountain is made of matter. Some matter is solid. Can you name the kinds of matter you see here? Well, I see a shirt, a sweater, hats, memorabilia, a railing, as well as shelving for all the merchandise. Solid matter has its own shape. The shape of solid matter is hard to change. You can change the shape of solid matter, but it is hard to change it back to what it was. Some matter is liquid too. Can you name the other kinds of matter you see here? Well, of course. We have a water bottle, a hat, his body, a baseball bat, his jersey, the green grass, and all the air around him. Liquid matter does not have a shape of its own. Liquid matter can be any shape. Its shape changes each time it is put inside something new. Some matter is gas. You can't always see a gas. Look closely. How do you know the gas is there? Hmm, maybe because that Goodyear blimp is floating. There has to be gas inside and outside. The gas is the air. Matter that is gas does not have a shape of its own. It can be any shape. A gas spreads out in whatever space 
it is in. Sometimes matter is hard, like a baseball bat. Sometimes matter is wet and pours from a bottle. Sometimes matter feels a balloon. Everything is made of matter. That means everything you can see, feel, taste, and touch. It even means you. You are made of matter, too. I will say, last week I learned a lot about matter, but this week it just made everything we learned last week and things that I've been thinking about a little bit more concrete. And I hope it has for you too. Thank you for reading with me. I had a blast reading with you as I always do. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, comment a book down below that you would like for us to read together in our read alouds, as well as continue to share. Oh, and don't forget to check out Solids, Liquids, and Gases, written by Ginger Garrett. With that being said, thank you for reading with me. I can't wait to read again with you soon. And don't forget, keep reading.